Hey. One second. Oh. Uh, these are materials for the basement. Where did you put the? Ah, uh, it's in. Oh. One second. What? What? That corner that where it's yellow, that's cat ear. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good midnight to all my friends near and far. Ito naman po si Marilyn, your friend La Filipina Carpintera here in America. So ito na guys, ang pinakahihintay namin. Nag-start na kami ng excavate para sa aming kaunting bahay. Kaunti, tama ba yung kaunti? Maliit na bahay guys, maliit lang. <laughs> Hello. Hello! Hi! It really looks different now. <laughs> and there's our beloved contractor. <laughs> Who will give me 50% off. So, as makita nyo, nakita nyo nandyan na yung mga ibang workers. Kasi patapos na sila hapon na kasi... But um, they're still continually digging. <laughs> Hi. Hi, guys. If I could have moved the house forward, you know, by five or six feet, then we could have raised the elevation up and it probably would fit it here. But, they might um, put us in prison. Yeah, we can't move it now. I'm just saying. Yeah. I think there's a. You know, case. originally, who, who picked the location? Did the surveyor do the that? The surveyor, or? yes. He says it's like 40 feet yeah. from the. He's an idiot if you ask me then. <laughs> Why? <laughs> he, put it in the wrong, he put it in a bad spot. Really? Yeah, because he could have... It should have either been forward by five feet or mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. Then the dirt would have worked a lot better. Or it should have been, you know, <clears throat> down the hill by 15 or 20 feet. Hi, so yun, nagko-complain yung contractor namin. Sabi niya, sino bang nag-survey nito? Sabi ko, bakit? Sabi niya na yung bahay daw ay dapat four to five feet towards the front kasi yung sloping e eh, napakahirap kung pinuforward sana yung bahay to the front hindi sana sila masyadong nahihirapan sa pagdig ng dirt eh sabi niya sino bang nagano nito sino bang nagdecide sabi ko yung surveyor tapos sabi niya he's an eye <laughs> but anyway sabi ko oops actually sabi ng surveyor na ganito yung gagawin he actually consulted me alam alam no naman yung Kaalam-alam ko doon sa surveying at saka sa positioning ng bahay eh. Di ba nabagsak ako sa engineering before? <laughs> Joke. But yeah, actually yung surveyor, in fairness with him, kahit na masungit siya, eh nagko-consult siya sa akin na ganitong gagawin natin. Tapos ako, agree without thinking lang ako. Kasi wala akong kaalam-alam sa mga ano um, offset na mga mga regulations dito so whatever he says sabi ko okay okay lang ako na okay kasi wala akong alam eh and because of that guys eh na damage yung budget namin yung sa previous video ko na nakasave kami ng 480,000 pesos forget about that kasi um it turned out na dahil sa uh, hirap ng ng location ng bahay, in other words, doon sa hill eh kailangan nilang mag-add ng mga materials kailangan nilang mag um uh, magkalot pa ng more dirt from for the basement so sabi ng contractor ko we have to add mga ano 120,000 pesos so yun 480,000 minus 120,000 ewan ko ayoko nang mag-isip but then ganun talaga guys pag nag uh, construction kayo kahit na sa flipping of you know kahit na sa anong negosyo namin na napi-flip kami ng bahay may mga unforeseen um expenses talaga na hindi inaasahan so yun, but buti na lang may extra leeway pa kami na medyo makaya-kaya pa sana. Ano, kung may merong another hiccup eh, hindi na siya masyadong malaki yung expenses. So, Lord, please help us. Mm. Then it would have, you know, then we probably could have eliminated this. Well, he was asking me some questions oh, and okay. then I did not understand. I just said, yeah, agree yeah. without thinking. Right. <laughs> so... I right. guess it I mean, was my fault. It is, it is what it is at this point, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I just wanted you to come out here and look at this so you oh. can explain because this is why it's the extra cost. Yan daw yung rason sa extra cost na kailangan naming magbayad ng additional because of blah, 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 blah. So, buti na lang hindi, ano, hindi pa masyadong mainit ang ulo ko. But guys, um, 
other than that, parang nadi-discourage ako kasi dalawang request ko eh, uh, hindi niya magawa yung paggawa ng driveway hanggang sa pinakadulo-dulo doon sa uh, likod ng, ng bahay namin, doon sa pinakadulo ng lot namin. Sabi niya, um, it would be another cost. Diba sabi mo, susubukan mo, diba sabi mo, I will do that. Yan po yung rason na pinapasahin ko sila kung ano ang gusto ko. However, itong request ko na ano, pinapasahin ko siya, itong gusto ko, itong gusto ko, itong gusto ko, gagawin mo ito. Sabi, yes, okay, sign here. So, babalikan ko yun. However, itong uh, driveway na ni-request ko, late na siyang na-request ko, so hindi na siya nakasign. So, okay lang. Okay lang, um, but I saw his point. I see his point, guys. Kasi, yung, yung, ano, yung land is bakilid ang driveway. Tapos, gusto ko dito sa pinakatuktok. Sabi niya, if, if, ang bahay, bahay dito, di ba? Tapos, ito mo driveway. So, sabi niya, um, dito na lang natin, uh, ilagay yung, ano mo, yung garage mo, or, or, ano, carport mo. Kasi, pag, dito pa sa pinakailalim, eh, pag mag-snow, hindi makakaakyat yung, yung car mo papunta sa daan. So, buti na lang dito. At least, i-elevate yan dyan. So, hindi masyadong, ano, masyadong hirap yung car sa pag-akyat mo. In a way, I saw his points. So, sabi ko, yeah, that, that would work out fine. Tapos, di ba, yung ganito, eh, ang bahay hanggang dyan lang, di ba? Tapos, lagyan ng, ng garage. At least, pag may space pa dito, at least, malaki ng kaunti yung lawn namin sa likod, yung backyard namin. So, in a way, okay. Tapos, isa sa mga, isa pa, sa mga request ko na hindi din niya nagawa is yung pagkalkal doon sa, you know, if this is the lot, sabi ko, kalkalin mo ng, ng two feet sa kada sides kasi tatan, tataniman ko siya ng, ano, retaining wall, in other words. Tapos, hindi niya magawa, guys, kasi na-understand ko din, it's expensive. Mahal siya, guys, kaso mahirap, mahirap siya. So, dalawa na yung, ano, ko request ko na. So, hopefully, um, Again, hindi ko siya pinasign, so kasi add-on lang yun. So, okay lang. Pero hopefully, other than those two, eh, magawa niya eh, yung ibang request ko, especially yung nasign na niya. Otherwise, makikita niyo yung init na lalabas dyan sa ulo ko. <laughs> Just here. Now we gotta fill this big sure. square in. But the whole square is not getting filled in with just concrete, but it's to get it filled in with um, gravel as well. Mm -hmm. And when I said that, the cost i wasn't sure yeah exactly on how much extra it's going to cost because i haven't figured it out yet but yeah. figured out the cost yet because we just got done digging yesterday yeah mm. um In fairness, guys, in a amaze ako because if you have watched my other videos, guys, itong kinakalkal nila, itong kinakal nila na land dyan, puno yan ng mga kahoy na malaking malaki talaga. So, ewan ko kung anong ginawa nila na although pinaputol ko yung mga kahoy dyan, pero syempre, di ba, may, may mga ugat dyan sa ilalim. Ewan ko kung paano nila yun uh, na tanggal yung mga ugat ng mga kahoy. Yan, ang dami talagang, although naputol na yung iba, but still, you know, yung gamot, yung ugat ng mga kahoy, ang hirap kaya tanggalin yan. Kaya, salute to them pa rin ako. Do you know what this thing is? Ano kaya ito? Build, oh, building permit. Oh, it's temporary electrical wiring. So, okay, pagkailangan nila ng electricity, dito sila magkukonect. Guys, ito, oh, nakakasad kasi pag itong mga ito ay nasa Pilipinas tapos iiwanan lang. The next day, wala na yan. Pero hindi lang naman sa Pilipinas ang talamak na pag nanakaw, diba? Kahit na dito din. Although, uh, parang hindi siya napaka-rampant yung uh, nakawan dito sa Amerika. Alam nyo guys, years back, naalala ko pa, may ano, parang Chinese ata or Mongolian comedian. I don't know kung sa It Bulaga ba yun or sa ABS-CBN na ano siya, nag-joke siya ba, guys ba? Bad joke about Filipinos. Sabi niya sa story niya. Philippines, oh, very bad, very bad, very bad. 
sabi niya, bad ang Philippines because you know, reputation, reputation of Philippines, very bad kasi many magnanakaw, many magnanakaw daw guys, tapos nag-joke siya na ano, one time, uh, may nag-cruise, may nag-tour around the world, uh, may mga Vietnamese, may mga Americans, Japanese, Egyptians, uh, Filipino, blah, blah, blah. So, sabi niya, sabi ng pilot daw, habang nag-tour around the world, yung mga tao, sabi niya, oh, look at your window, tingnan niyo sa window. As you can see, the, we are now in, nandito na tayo ngayon sa Egypt. Do you know why? Alam niyo kung bakit nandito sa Egypt? Kasi tingnan niyo sa window, kita niyo yung mga pyramids. And the people were like, oh, yeah, oo, oh, oh, Egypt na. Tapos a few moments later, oh, nandito na tayo, we are now in America. Do you know why? Kasi nakikita niyo yung Statue of Liberty. Oh, yeah, it's so beautiful. Sabi ng mga tourists Tapos ano Oh we are now in China After a few hours China Sabi, sabi mga tao Bakit? Look at your window We are now in China Oh bakit? Because makita niyo Look at your window Sabi ng pilot Alam natin na sa China na tayo Because Nakita natin yung Great Wall of China Oh wow Yay Clap clap sila Tapos after mga 4 hours Guys sabi niya um, Passengers passengers Be careful Be careful We are now in the Philippines Tapos sabi, be careful. Sabi niya, ano, careful kayo, nandito na tayo sa Philippines. Ha? Tapos sabi ng mga passenger, bakit? How did you know that we are now in the Philippines? Bakit alam mo? Eh, kasi, in-extend ko yung ano, yung kamay ko lang. In-extend ko yung kamay ko labas sa window at nawala. Sabi niya, nasnatch yung relo ko. Kaya alam ko, nandito na tayo sa Pilipinas. I mean, for a person, for a foreigner who made that joke on our local TV, guys, if I were there, sisitain ko siya. How dare you? You know? Pero hindi naman, hindi naman natin siya maano mabiblame kasi nga eh totoo naman madaming madaming snatchers diyan sa atin kaya mga guys uh, wag naman natin ipahiya itong nation natin di ba kasi if you go around the world guys ang mga Filipinos we are number one we always like as far as diligence and uh, truthfulness sa trabaho natin sa mga OFW natin tayo po ang nag number one na magaling sa ating trabaho palagi tayong na awardan when i was working at the hospital I received like an employee of the month because we go far and beyond, you know, what is expected of us duty-wise. Yung, ano, uh, hindi tayo tamad pag nagtatrabaho tayo sa abroad. Kaya palagi tayong uh, in demand. Especially yung mga nurses, yung mga teachers natin, palaging in demand abroad. Kaya, ano, sana, uh, itong mga kababayan natin, huwag naman tayong magnakaw, guys. Magnanakaw na nga yung, ano, sorry, ha? I don't trust our politicians. Sila na nga yung, oh my gosh, we need to pray for our country. But anyway, joke lang yun. No mama, pero I did not like his joke. Like, how dare him? Like, belittle, ina ano niya, ini-insulto niya, ini niya yung, ano, yung country natin in, on national TV. Like, kung nandoon ako, pupunta talaga ako sa harap. I really don't care. Sabihin po, like, get out of my country. <laughs> Kaya wag kang, wag kang mag, mag joke na detrimental sa aming, sa aming, ano, sa aming reputation. So, yun lang. <laughs> It's really, really sad. Tapos, nag-add sila ng mga materialis doon. Uh, when we were here the other day, wala pa yung mga insulation na yan. So, tingnan natin. Bababa tayo doon sa... Okay. Um... Medyo may nagawa sila today. Yan yung backyard namin. Tapos i-level lang yung mga ano na yan later on. Mga dirt dyan. So ito yung nagawa nila today. Okay. Um, this is going to be ito yung ano wall. Sabi, ng, sabi ko sa ano sa engineer na Di ba kailangan ng ano, madaming cables? Sabi niya, uh, no need kasi yung mga materials na i-insert nila dyan, eh, may marami din cables going up. So, um, yun. Tapos, uh, lagyan it nila ito ng drainage on each side. Not yet. Drainage din dyan. Oh, no, not drainage, but actually the one. I don't understand this one, Borg. So, is this going to be, Corey? Huh? I have no idea. So, that's the wall also? So, they're going to cover this up? 
I'm not sure how that works. Mm. Because they said that they're going to use some dirt to patch this up. Oh. Yeah, I don't... I really don't understand how he would... <laughs> so yeah, and hopefully tomorrow they can start pouring. No. So I told him that, you know, they need to put like really big cables over here. But then he said that the materials over there uh, that they will put in between or what, or however, uh, it's full of cables too. So no need. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. they know. They know what's well, he's an engineer, so <laughs> I wouldn't question him. It should be all right. Huh? And then dr drainage. Um, it be all right. So this black thing is a water barrier. Tingnan niyo yung asawa ko. Bumaba na siya. Bumaba. Bumaba. Like. Ito yung magiging driveway namin. Pataas na ko pag mag-slit. Yung bang. Or frozen rain. O di mag-slide yung sakena namin dito. Oh, paano ba yan? So lagyan ko ng ano dito. Ng garage. Garage. At kailangan din lagyan ng plane doon level out yung yung soil so that pag may freezing rain eh doon na lang ipapark yung mga sakinan okay. Ready? 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 And um, so far, I'm okay. I'm happy. So that's the basement area. That's the basement. Yeah. So the basement has to like go all the way here. I don't know. But then, if you have a walk out, how are we going to? That's probably what all that dirt's for. Hmm. Yeah, they'll know. They know what's going on. He knows what's going on. Okay. Yeah. So the garage will be in this area. Yeah, I think he was right. Because before, I wanted the driveway to go all the way over there. Yeah. Um, so that I can put the garage there. But then, yeah, going up is going to be hard though. Yeah, so you'd have it like up to this level. Yeah, this level. Oh, it's even higher than that. Hmm? It'll be higher than that. Okay, let's go, let's go get over there. And then, um, I know there was this... Um, big boulder or stone that I want him to bring up. Hopefully, he did bring it up. I don't know. But anyway. Alright, thank you for watching.